Hi, I'm Andrew with Baker's Gas. We're here today with the Power Mig 360 MP. Um, this is video number two. So today we're going to cover some uh, another C, like legacy menu where it has all the older settings, and then we're going to go Pulse Mig with this unit, and we're going to try and DC Pulse TIG with this unit. So let's dive right into the screen here. So to get into this legacy uh, menu, click on Select Process. Go select over. See it says mode list. Click on mode list. And then you can see here mode one, and I think, let's just go scroll down, one through 196. So if you were familiar with the old 350 MP, uh, it, these are the same numbers that are on the 350 MP that you had to toggle through. They're just now on a digital screen. So let's just say, Mode 11. I remember a lot of uh, using Mode 11 a lot on 350MP. That was 035 steel, argon blends, straight CV, Mode 11. You could go. So this unit not only has the arc effects and the synergic MIG settings, but you can also just go back to the old style where you, where you used to have to toggle through. Now it's all on a digital screen. Pick Mode 11 or Mode 5, you know, whatever you used to have on your 350MP, it's now available on the 360MP, it's just in this screen. So, let's go home here. We're going to try and pulse MIG. So we're going to go over to the pulse MIG setting, or just the MIG synergic setting. We're going to pick steel, we're running 045 wire, we're running 9010 gas. Oh, I sorry, I think I, there we go. We're going to pulse, you click on that, and we got some um, we got, we got some three sixteenths positive. Now we're just going to run the recommended settings. So this is um, arc length or trim, and then we got 135 inches a minute. So let's give this a shot and see if how, how it works. All right, let's give this a shot. Here. Well, it's pretty good. So the pulse feature on this unit is for thinner sections of material, cut down on spatter. I'm not saying it's necessarily for thinner sections, though you can weld thick sections with it. Um, it just helps with distortion. So you're bouncing between a spray transfer and a short circuit transfer, and it's cutting down on distortion on the piece. Um, welded pretty nice on that pulse setting. Now remember we're running the 9010 gas because we are in spray transfer part of the time. Let's, uh, let's throw together a little T joint here. Let's see, how, let's see how it goes. Check out that bead, it actually laid in there really, really nice. Um, so this was just a T-joint on pulse. Nice flat shape to it. Uh, hardly any spatter as you can notice. I mean, not nothing stuck on the plate. Um, relatively thin material, like I said, 3 16ths. I do just run in the recommended settings. Pretty sweet. So let's uh, give this thing a shot. We're, we're gonna, I'll show you how to hook up a TIG torch. We're gonna tear it down, get it into the TIG torch part. Um, all right, so getting our TIG torch here hooked up, uh, switched over to argon gas. We gotta switch the gas port on the back because there's one side for MIG and the other side's for the TIG and spool gun. Remember though, when you're doing this, unplug the unit just because on the inside we're gonna be messing with the terminals here. So, on the inside of this unit, right here. It gives us a negative 
and a positive. So we gotta undo. Positive terminal. We'll set that off to the side. We're undo the negative terminal. And what happens here is our ground now goes to the positive terminal. Because I remember on DC TIG welding, it's electronegative. So we want our ground positive and our electrodes are tungsten, so our TIG torch will be on the negative terminal. So what I'll do here, get our gas line drop down. We'll feed our plug. Put it to the negative terminal. Now the MIG, the power block for the MIG side, you could just leave hang out there. It's not gonna hurt nothing, just sitting there. And on the gas, we're gonna hook up to the front of the machine and this near gas port. And that's what gives us our gas to our TIG torch. Now you can hook a foot pedal up. Um, I, today we have, we're gonna do lift arc. And I'll show you how to do that. So basically we're all we're all set right there. Just hook up everything. Hold over there. Now they do make nice sleeves. Um, we get we did this just get this in as a demo, so um, I don't have the sleeve on it yet. I'll shut this door. Plug our unit back in. Come over here, turn that on, and wait for it to fire up. So in the meantime, we're what we can do. I got kind of a nifty TIG torch holder. Um, pretty neat, actually. It holds that TIG torch pretty nice. I'll just loop this stuff right around here. Big gun out of the way. We're just gonna lay some beads on this C16 material just to try this thing out, show you how to DC pulse with it. So our gas is on, we'll go back to the machine here. So, we go into our mode selector, we go select process. We're gonna go to TIG, we're gonna hit select. We got three three second tungsten plate, like I said, three sixteenths. Native polarity, correct, we confirmed it. We're good. So here's where scratch start comes into play. So it says 120 amps, that's probably correct for three sixteenths. So this is like, if we would have had a foot pedal, we could have put it on, it would have been remote. But for now, we gotta turn the output on. So our TIG torch tungsten isn't hitting anything, we're gonna turn it on. So now we're live at that, at the tungsten. So let's go give this thing a shot. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna touch the tungsten, pull up, the gas will automatically kick on, and we'll start to go. So just to give you a shot. Pretty nice arc for uh, just a little lift arc TIG. I mean, that's pretty nice. So, it just goes to show you the versatility of this machine. I mean, so we went from Pulse MIG right over to uh, DC uh, TIG. So let's try, let's turn on the pulse setting on the TIG. So to turn that on, you go to weld setting, click on it. Oh, I'm sorry, you gotta turn your output off for the weld setting. Go pulse. 
then we can go TIG pulse 0.5 to 19 and a half, and then there's two ranges. So if we click on the first one, you let us go all the way up to 19 and a half pulses. Let's just stick around. Let's do 10. And then we'll go back. So our pulser's on. We're going to turn our output back on. Now this is going to be 10 pulses per second. So you're going to hear a noticeable difference in the sound of it. That's pretty cool. You can kind of see the light flicker there. That's 10 pulses per second. Now, kind of give us a little bit more ripple action. Let me turn it pulsing down here. Let's try two, two pulses per second. Click on that. Go back. Turn our output on. So just to go and show you, that's a pretty neat little function on this unit. So for being a multi-process thing like this, I mean, we're going, we're going to jump around and um, going from pulse mag to pulse TIG. It's pretty cool. Um, not a bad welding machine. I, uh, it's got a nice short arc. It does well, really pretty nice. Stay tuned for more videos and thanks again for watching. Leave some comments below, ask your questions. Um, and anything you ask, we'll try, try our best to answer. Thanks again for watching.